Our next guest has introduced the No Taxpayer Funding for the Chinese Communist Party Act, which requires the Attorney General to provide a report to Congress within one year of enactment on the extent to which Communist China has benefited from taxpayer-funded research. Joining us now to discuss, Virginia Congressman Bob Good. Congressman, great to have you with us here. You know, it's interesting, when I was reading the, just the title of your bill, I, I thought, Ta U.S. taxpayers are actually funding the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, explain that before we get into the details of the bill. Well, as we listen to your last segment, as we hear about the threat of possible conflict with China, what we do know is we ought to have the strongest possible military, not be focused on woke initiatives and climate initiatives in our military that weaken our military. And secondly, we ought not to be allowing China to have access to our intelligence, to our national security, to research that's going on in our country. And what our bill would do, our no taxpayer funding for the Chinese Communist Party, would prohibit or at least expose funding, taxpayer funding for research by Chinese nationals here in the United States and how the Chinese Communist Party might benefit from that. You know, nothing in China happens apart from the influence and control of the Chinese Communist Party. And frankly, I don't think we ought to have Chinese nationals in institutions of higher learning, certainly at the graduate level or certainly in the STEM areas of the graduate level. And why would we be allowing our institutions of higher learning to accept millions and millions of dollars of donations and investment from the Chinese Communist Party? For example, the uh, University of Penn, why would they uh, receive $55 million in donations from the CCP from 2014 to 2019? Might that be because of whatever the contents might be in those classified documents that have been found in the possession of Joe Biden at his various residence and offices? So, Congressman, how dangerous is this right now with, with, with how it's set up and how much intel it, that China's getting and obviously the money we're just saying? Well, that's what we're trying to expose, of course. And what our bill would do is require the attorney general working with the secretary of commerce and the director of national intelligence to, to provide a report to Congress illustrating or documenting how much the Chinese Communist Party has benefited from research on college campuses in our country. It's an estimated there's some 10,000 or more Chinese nationals uh, conducting high-level research in the United States, benefiting from our institutions of higher learning, our research labs, and so forth. Forth, and how is that benefiting uh, the CCP, who is our number one adversary on the world stage? How is it threatening our national security? We've got to expose that. We, we should be preventing it, but at least we have to expose it and document what, what's happening on, in, in the United States to benefit the CCP. Yeah, it, the exposing uh, of the problem is something that is very important. I think a lot of Americans don't even know about that, so we appreciate what you're doing there. But, Congressman, before we do let you go, we want to get your thoughts on AT&T Direct dropping Newsmax from its China channel lineup. Uh, it happened last week, as we know. AT&T is saying this is just about business, um, but is it really just about business? If it was just about business, they're terrible business people mm -hmm. because there's no reason that DirecTV wouldn't want to uh, maintain and keep on their platform the fourth highest rated news channel, one of the top 20 cable channels, uh, and they wouldn't want to have the Newsmax viewers retained on their platform. There's no demonstration you can have from the ratings that are, or excuse me, the fees that are being paid others mm -hmm. uh, entities with much lower audience uh, viewerships than, and, than and, uh, Newsmax has. So there's no business justification for it. And Less direct TV is certainly a very bad business entity. Yeah, it's a good point. I just I want to just jump in there, John, quickly. You know, it's interesting because uh, to your point, Congressman, um, Newsmax was is, is has very high ratings, of course, fourth largest cable news network. But at the same time, if it were really a business decision, that we wouldn't see Direct TV hanging on to this other programming with very low ratings. So if they're really trying to cut costs, you know, cut those programs, those networks that are demanding high fees and bringing in lower ratings and lower viewerships. As you said, they're not great business people. Yeah, you see this happening with big tech, the suppression of conservative voices, First Amendment rights of those who might be conservative leaning. And to see that happening with cable platforms as well is very concerning that American companies, American business, just because they have a conservative or frankly a balanced, truthful presentation of the news might be penalized for that in, in being able to have that, them uh, be on the major platforms such as DirecTV. How much do you think this is going to hurt AT&T financially long term? 
I certainly hope so. We are joining others with lending our voice to it, trying to expose what's happening. I've reached out to senior leadership with AT&T. I've joined a letter to the leadership of DirecTV and AT&T to try to ask for what is the justification for treating Newsmax differently? Uh, just be, is it just because they have a conservative uh, viewership or conservative slant or, or presentation of the news, an appropriately conservative presentation of the news? And why are they being penalized when left-leaning organizations and, and, and news channels are not being penalized? Why shouldn't uh, direct, uh, excuse me, Newsmax be treated just on the basis of their viewership, their audience, and then appropriately be compensated for that? Yeah, uh, ultimately seeing censorship in action here, truly. Uh, Congressman Bob Good, really appreciate it. Thank you.